Hello guys. So, we're fishing in the evening today. I just got back from Kent Lake where <laughs> I lost three really big fish on a glide bait. So that was really tough. But, yeah, we're at a new secret spot. And I actually just landed a crappie too. First cast, wasn't even thinking about recording, but I guess we are now. And yeah, hopefully we'll hook a walleye. Or maybe best. But let's get to it right now. Caught a really nice crappie. Devoured the lipless crankbait. Just give him a nice release. Oh, look at that. He has a little dent right there. Anyways, let's give him a release. The water's pretty high right now. So it's pretty easy to get him in. Off he goes. All right, so right now we're using, I believe this is three of sounds. It's a Guggen Clutch Mini. And we're using a craw collar. I don't know what type of craw because there's two different ty kinds. But yeah, I think we found a school of crappie, so I'm just gonna reel. Hopefully, we can get bit. I only got a little bit to record because I got to be home before dark and it's getting pretty near to that. Shit. Bird's nest. I don't want to be home late, so. I don't got that much time to fish. Let's see what we can do. Oh shoot, I hit the guardrail. I'm not gonna spend my entire time over here because there's better spots, but. Do you catch a decent crappie, so. Maybe that's a sign that there's a school. I regret only wearing a hoodie. So the wind is pretty cold. It's warmer today than it's been in a while, but still. I want my summer weather, you know, 60s, sunnies, all day long. All right, so I guess that's just a single crappie then. Let's go for some bass and move along the bank. Maybe a wallet picks this up too. You know, there's some 26 inches in here. I can't disclose the spot. So, don't ask in the comments about it. I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's a big secret. Probably still on my reel or my retrieve. This is a 751. No, not 751, sorry. Oh, shoot. Bass, 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 bass. Oh my god, he hammered that. Oh wow. Oh wow. That boy just hammered it. Oh wow. It's not a bad one. He's gonna hook me. That's not a bad one. No, we take that. We take that. It's not bad at all. I don't want to weigh this one. It's not the biggest, but... Beautiful bass. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, I'm going to get a release video on her. Let's 
get a release on this baby. And she's gone. Oh man. Dude, that bass hammered it right at the bank too. Like that that's insane. Must have been following it for a while. Alright, let's get over here though. If you hear a bunch of cars in the background, that's uh the dicks that come out at night. On my street you can hear all sorts of like Hellcats and all them. With their muffler mods or whatever to make their mufflers louder. Just racing through the streets at freaking 12 at night, you know? This, this isn't probably going to be a long video. I'll try to make it as long as I can with all the footage I have. Because I gotta be back soon, but. I'll see what I can do. Alright, we'll see what I can do. You know, I've been using this rod and reel combo a lot re recently. Well, it's not a combo, I made it. And I got them all separately, but. I gotta say, it's pretty freaking good. I could throw basically anything on it. I threw a, I believe it was a 2.2 ounce. Oh, fuck. <laughs> sure you guys heard that. Oh, no. Let's get this thing out real quickly. But, uh. I was throwing S waivers today, and th this lure that I'm throwing right now is three cents. I can throw it a long ways away. So you can throw anything from three A's. Hell, I've even thrown one fourth ounce baits. You know, you can throw all, all that. You can throw big swim baits. You can throw basically anything you want. It's a duck at Silverado. Paired with an SLX 150A. So, I mean, let's be real, you don't need the DC or the XT or the. any of those, you know? You don't, you don't need those. It just broke off. It just broke off completely. <laughs> Alright. Well. I'll tie something else on real quickly. We'll be right back. Magic. I lost my beloved lure, which has been catching me a hell of fish. Oh, I still have a bird nest too. Great. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I also got bit by pike today. Focus. Focus. Come on. It ain't focusing. But, uh, I got bit by pike. So my fingers have been pretty... Bleeding pretty bad. And, uh, it's not nearly as bad as it was when I, after I got bit. Because after I got bit, like right after, like it wouldn't stop bleeding. Like it was, like, gushing, dude. Alright, I'll see if we can get one more fish. I'll see if we can get one more real quickly. It broke off. Like, 
but it, it just, it's, it's just gone. Okay, well, let's get back. <laughs> let's get back before it gets too dark. Um, well, that that really sucks. I've lost a total of eight, eight, ten. Okay, so I've lost a total of about twenty-six lures today. Alright, well, you know, it's not good because I can just buy more, but still, <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> Alright, so, that's where we cut it, I guess. I will see you guys in the next one, I guess. Hopefully, next time I record some stuff at Kent Lake. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.